There are two types of stigma associated with mental illness. The first, social stigma, is defined as prejudicial attitudes and discriminating behavior commonly fixated towards persons with mental health issues, while self-stigma is the internalization of perception of discrimination, and this can vastly affect one's feelings and can lead to worse treatment outcomes. These stigmas can be very debilitating for someone that is mentally ill. What would you do if your house was on fire? You'd probably call 911. But what if calling the fire department wasn't cool? What if calling for help wasn't safe? What if calling for help means that you'd get judged? For people with mental health challenges, that's exactly what it's like. And this is because of stigma. We end up having to have secret identities, keeping our pain to ourselves. Because we feel like asking for help will put us at risk. There are 10 times as many people suffering from severe mental illness in jails than there are individuals in psychiatric state-funded hospitals. According to a Times Magazine article, there is a deficit of 12,500 psychiatric doctors that specialize in adolescents, thus causing families to then have to travel far distances to seek treatment for their children who suffer.